two on the brink of becoming the first and only president of the United States to be impeached twice. And while blaming the president for the Capitol invasion, Democrats are also accusing some of their Republican colleagues of aiding and abetting the rioters. We need to hold accountable every single person, even members of Congress, if they contributed to the violence. Nancy Cordes is CBS's congressional correspondent. There's a lot of mistrust. There are a lot of bad feelings, a lot of finger pointing by Democrats and frankly by some Republicans. New Jersey Democrat Mikey Sherrill claims she saw lawmakers acting suspiciously the day before the riot. Those members of Congress who had groups coming through the Capitol that I saw on January 5th reconnaissance for the next day. And the organizer behind last Wednesday's Stop the Steal rally, Ali Alexander, claims three congressmen helped him plan the event. I was the person who came up with the January 6th idea with Congressman Gosar, Congressman Bill Brooks, and then Congressman Andy Biggs. The congressmen are all denying that they incited the rioters. Firebrand Republican Lauren Boebert from Colorado is also under fire for tweeting out Nancy Pelosi's location as the mob was breaking into the Capitol. The speaker has been removed from the chambers. She's defending herself today, claiming that that information was first broadcast on C-SPAN. I myself did not even feel safe. Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez, a favorite target of the right, says she refused to shelter with the Republicans because she feared some of them might turn her over. Target of the right. She targets the right. Supremacist sympathizers and frankly white supremacist members of Congress would create. Oh, now all the white members of Congress are so white supremacists. The atmosphere is so tense at this point uh, that you now have magnetometers outside. Yeah, I knew this was coming. You watch. Into the House chamber. It won't be just the chambers either. Republicans, but Democrats this is going to be one place after another after another. They're going to stage these events. events. Some GOP members to justify locking us all down, the house. and then we'd be locked in our homes. We already are. He won't block his impeachment. Fox News has confirmed that while he's not said whether he supports conviction in the Senate, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell uh, is not going to stand in the way of this impeachment effort. Listen to the smooth, crafty way she's saying that. He's not going to stand in the way and say, instead of saying he is standing in the way of justice. You see how this is all slanted? As a patriot, or you could go down in history as a blank, the president was quoted as saying. The Veep did not bend to the president's will, bringing the wrath of the mob down upon him. Metal detectors and armed National Guard troops are now in place at the Capitol one week after it was overrun by that mob. And we now know that authorities had advanced warning of what might take place. An internal FBI memo obtained by the Washington Post shows that the agency explicitly warned extremists were traveling to Washington and were, quote, ready for war. Here's Jim Murray. Not again. 10,000 Trump supporters are expected to converge on D.C. on Inauguration Day. Washington is being turned into a fortress. 15,000 fully armed members of the National Guard have been called out to face them. I can't recall any inauguration with this much tension as we head down the stretch. The U.S. Capitol building is like an armed camp with hundreds of National Guards stationed inside. They're even sleeping on the marble floors. Tim Gallagher is former special agent in charge of the FBI's New Jersey Bureau. There's a massive element who's seeking to disrupt this event, this democratic event. And it's not democratic, Lars. To commit violence and to try to overthrow the lawfully elected government of the Talk United about States. the big lie. Security there it is. Across America, especially for They're loaded with it in the media here. DC. There hasn't been this much anxiety about heading to our nation's capital since 9-11. And there are growing demands that anyone involved in last week's rioting be placed on no-fly lists. The FBI Bureau in Norfolk, Virginia, warned headquarters about last week's insurrection, quoting social media posts that said, go there ready for war. The president is urging his supporters not to resort to violence. Well, thank you for admitting that. No law 
breaking and no vandalism. You'll have something bad to say come and watch that. I stand for and it is not what America stands for. I call on all Americans to help ease tensions and calm tempers. A disturbing new video shows the rioters running amok inside a congressional office with indications the assault was coordinated. We need enough people. We need to push forward. A mystery woman with a megaphone takes over, claiming to have a detailed floor plan. We're also learning the identities of more possible suspects, and they are shocking. This man, Cleet Keller, won the Olympic gold medal in 2004. Man. This video shows him in the midst of the mob. He was identified by his U.S. SWAT wow. team jacket and his height at 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, this is the man there. And a heartthrob contestant from the 2016 season of The Bachelorette says he was at the rally before the assault on the Capitol. You don't know me, but we'll probably go on some days. James McCoy Taylor says, I legally supported our president. And Josiah Colt, seen dangling from the Senate balcony, has turned himself in after posting an apology. I were deeply regret being at the Capitol and seeing the one week from today, the focus will again be on the Capitol as Joe Biden is sworn in as president. Because of COVID and now because of the unrest, much of the inaugural festivities will be held virtually, including a star-studded concert the night before the swearing-in. We've got details on who will be appearing. Oh, here we go. Joe Biden is shooting for the stars. I got a phone call to, to, to be asked for that, and I was like, uh... Yes. Justin Timberlake just revealed he'll be headlining a 90-minute primetime TV special called Celebrating America, airing the night of the inauguration. Who? I'm not watching it. Hopefully the theme of 2021 is redemption. He shared a sneak peek of rehearsals on Instagram, writing, We have a long way to go to fix, undo, and rebuild this country. I'm boycotting this crap. They've been trying to sell themselves through these so-called studded stars. Pedophiles. God. They've been doing this one the whole time. They all think they're such a great deal above us. The special replaces the traditional inaugural balls canceled because of COVID-19. After the swearing in, President Biden will be escorted to the White House by representatives. Yeah, to the basement, I suppose. <laughs> and instead of a traditional parade, a virtual parade. Sure, everything about his campaign was virtual. 3 p.m. Virtually insane campaign. Crazy. People have been told to hang on for the vaccine. 